Welcome to Statistics. This is the first uh, uh, lecture in Module 1. Module 1 covers terms and definitions. This uh, presentation is brought to you by the original TAMUC Dr. Dog. I certainly like this uh, little saying that we have here that it says tortured numbers and they will confess to anything. In this course you will earn the right to torture numbers. Just remember, if they torture you, you get to torture them back. We're going to uh, discuss in this lecture under Module 1, our very first topic, which is to examine the difference between quantitative and qualitative statistics. Quantitative deals with numbers. Uh, quantitative is about information which can be measured and things which can be easily measured or issues such as length, height, area, volume, weight, speed, time, so forth. So when we talk about quantitative statistics, we are talking about things that can be uh, examined in regards to easily measured quantities. Notice that quantitative and quantity share a similar uh, sound in a similar portion of their words. So quantitative are things that can be easily measured. The other option in statistics is that of qualitative. Qualitative deals with descriptions and information which can be observed but is not easy to measure. Uh, certain examples of quantitative statistics would be issues such as colors, textures, smells, taste, appearances, describing beauty. Uh, I laugh sometimes when I think about qualitative assessment. When my wife and I were married, uh, first married, she would say to me, and of course that's 30 plus years ago, she would say, why do you love me? Well, that's very difficult to quantify. I just told her that you're the one the Lord gave me. That's why I love you. And See, I slipped out of it. Qualitative statistics come in very handy at times. Qualitative is about quality. Quantitative is about quantity. And if you will look at the similarity in the words qualitative and quality and the word quantitative and quantity, then you should be able to get some handle on which of these type statistics has things which can be easily measured and which of these has things which cannot be easily measured. Now what we will do is examine some, or look at some examples of types of quantitative statistics and types of qualitative statistics. In case you don't recognize this, this is an oil painting. It looks like something that I would have painted. Now keep in mind that I'm a math major and uh, I, I'm not very much into oil painting stuff, but it looks like it could be fun. If you will examine the quantitative side of this painting, we could talk about how tall it is, how wide it is. We could discuss how many square inches of area that it has. We could talk about the, the weight of the paint. We could talk about the thickness of the paint. Those are things that are quantitative. If we were to look at qualitative issues with this painting, we might discuss the, the shades of color which are involved in it. We might want to discuss the smell of the paint. Uh, those are qualitative issues. Let's look at another example. In this example, we are going to examine a group of emperor penguins. On the qualitative side, we have the height of the penguins. We might have the average weight of the penguins. Uh, we might talk about uh, the length of their little nose beaks. We might talk about how far they can see. On the qualitative side, we might talk about what these penguins smell like. I don't think you would want this colony of penguins to come visit you in your house. Maybe they could stay the weekend. Penguins, like relatives, start to smell after three days. Now, we might discuss what these penguins are talking about to each other what they're thinking about, all of those are qualitative issues. Another example between the difference between quantitative and qualitative might be found in examining this truck. A quantitative statistics might, uh, might relate to how much each of these things on the truck weighs. 
How much volume do they take up? Some of the qualitative side might be what what does the plastic feel like? Um, what what are some of the future applications of these different sorts of machinery? So quantitative speaks to things that can be easily measured, and qualitative speaks to those things which cannot be easily measured. I want you to look again at this original slide. Quantitative deals with numbers, information which can be measured. Here are some examples. And remember that quantitative refers to quantity. We have to be able to quantify it for it to be a quantitative statistic. Qualitative deals with things, descriptions, things which can't be easily measured, things like colors, textures, smells, taste, appearances, beauty, etc. Qualitative and quality have those attributes in common. Quantitative, quantity, qualitative, quality. Now, I want to thank you very much for your support in watching this video. I want to remind you that it is your patronage which keeps my family fed. I pray that you have a wonderful, wonderful time with statistics, and I encourage you not to be afraid of this course. Uh, you may fear statistics because you've had mathematics courses that gave you trouble. Statistics and math are not the same discipline. You're going to enjoy statistics. Sit back, learn the language in order to live in the land of nerd. Have a great day. This is the Dr. Dog signing off.